Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look at your romantic love life throughout the entire month of May 2023. Whether you have someone brand new entering your life this month or you're maintaining an existing connection, I'm gonna pull a seven card spread and see who shows up in your reading today what their feelings will be, how you'll recognize them, what their actions will be towards you. Ooh, that does not belong here. Um, also, I'll take a look at what some of the complications or setbacks you guys may encounter this month. That way you can avoid it with this person altogether or prepare for it. Your outcome together, how you feel about them and your advice. Then I will get extra nosy by clarifying to break it down fully, you know, so it's not as general. Now, Sagittarius, if you are dealing with a recent no contact situation and you're wondering if your no contact person is going to reach out at all in May, I will pull their hidden feelings to you at the end of the reading, see where their head is at and if they plan to reach out. But other than that, let's begin. Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius for the entire month of May 2023 in their love life? Can I please have a seven card spread? Sagittarius is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today, as long as the messages that come through are for their highest and greatest good. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Saggies. Okay, so the person that's coming toward you with romantic intentions in May, what would their feelings for you be? We have the Knight of Swords. Wow, you're the third zodiac sign that got this card in the exact same position. Um, Scorpio got it and Virgo got it, I think. Anyways, with your person's feelings for you being the Knight of Swords, this is someone that's going to be talking to you a lot this month. This is someone that is not wanting to be left behind. Um, they have a lot of ideas about the relationship. They are just going to be, you know, talking your ear off, it feels like. Does not have to be an air sign, but this is Gemini energy, but also also Libra and Aquarius so you're getting messages what's this person's view of you in the month of May the four of Pentacles they do not see you as an open book and <laughs> they're trying to get that book open their actions towards you in May the king of cups Virgo also got this so some of you guys have Virgo in your chart or you're a cusper um, but this person intends to fall in love with you in the month of May if they're not already in love with you at this time that I'm recording it. You'll know your situation. So in May, this person's actions is to be emotionally expressive, emotionally nurturing, to be very caring towards you, and talk your ear off, okay? But they're viewing you as being a little bit standoffish, right? I mean, they're looking at you with this Four of Pentacles energy like you don't trust them fully and you just want to keep an eye on them to see if they give themselves away without you having to interrogate them. You're, you're just keeping a watchful eye on them to make sure that you can trust them is what it feels like to me, but they're falling in love with you or already in love with you in May. What's your feelings for them? The Nine of Pentacles, okay? You like your independence, it feels like. What's your challenge between the two of you? The Queen of Cups, you. You're the challenge in the month of May. You're gonna be um, kind of, you know, closed off with them emotionally, whether it's because you're gonna be focusing on your career, focusing on your money, your friendships, other things in your life. They're gonna feel like you're not giving them much of your emotional side. You may be hanging out with them every single day, texting every single day, but they may feel like you don't express yourself to them and it's gonna concern them to where they're gonna, they're gonna to wanna to ask you what's going on. And remember, roles can be reversed, but if you look at the Four of Pentacles card in the traditional Ride Await Tarot deck, Sagittarius, you will see a man with a pentacle right in front of his heart chakra, as to imply love can't come in, love ain't coming out. I choose money, status, you know, wealth, material items because it's safer than falling in love with someone that could potentially break my heart later down the road so this kind of connects with why the queen of cups is in the challenge you're scared to be vulnerable with this person in may whether they already screwed you over in the past and that's why you're having trouble trusting them again with your heart or if this is a new person somebody may have really you know done a number on you in the past and you want to make sure you can trust this person before you get that vulnerable side of you out because you have a vulnerable side you do you're just protecting it right now you're protecting it and you're very self-reliant you're very independent and i feel like in may your money is going to be banging there's something you're doing with your career 
whether you're switching jobs, starting your own business, working from home for a pentacles, it feels like your money is gonna be your top priority in the month of May. Something is growing for you. And I feel like this is what's gonna catch your focus the most. And this person's gonna kind of feel like you might leave them behind at times. Like, you know, leave them on red, not really as enthused to reach out to them as you were at the start of the connection maybe. What's your potential outcome with each other? The two of swords. Okay, because of this emotional, you know, closeness or closeness, I don't know if I'm saying that right, something is going to be at a, at a kind of a stalemate. With you both coming in with this King and Queen of Cups energy, you guys would make a perfect match if you both were to let each other in equally. Okay, this could actually be a very beautiful relationship between you and this person, but maybe you're having trouble forgiving them for something in May. What's your advice? Nine of Swords. Hmm, you're going to be in your head a lot. I'll dive into that in a, at the end of the reading. What's your overall energy for the connection? The Magician. Now, with the overall energy for the relationship between you and this person being the Magician, it's telling me that you guys have what it takes to really make a relationship work together. Because the Magician has all of the necessary tools to make a situation become what it could be. You know, the Magician carries the Ace of Swords, which is all about communication, ideas, breakthroughs. The Ace of Cups, which is all about emotional vulnerability, expressing your feelings openly and honestly with this person. The Ace of Wands, where you guys are sexually attracted to each other. There's passion there's desire there's momentum and the ace of pentacles where there's a stable relationship that is going to grow potentially long term you guys have what it takes this looks good it's just that you might not trust this person in the month of may whether it's because they're too new or they screwed you over recently and you're still holding on a grudge with that four of pentacles okay but i do have the eight of swords influencing that that magician strong gemini energy coming in but um Try not to get too in your head, all right? Because I, I feel like this person really likes you. They, they really adore you and they wanna be there for you and they're hoping that you're gonna give them a chance this month, all right? And then there's the Empress. Now, let me just dig in, because for all I know, this person is a jerk. <laughs> um, I don't think so with the King of Cups, but we'll see. So let's start clarifying. In your person's feelings for you, Sagittarius, we have the Knight of Swords, all right? Let's see what's going on with this person. Why is the Nine of Swords how this person feels about Gemini, please, in the month of May 2023? Why does this person feel the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius in May 2023? Two more shuffles. One and two. The Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This person is hot for you in May. Um, but also, the Knight of Wands gets a reputation of being very unpredictable. Maybe this person is someone that you already know and they've shown you that they're very inconsistent, very on and off. Or this is someone that will display those signs in the month of May and it might create you the desire to shut down on them. But as this being this person's feelings for you, they may feel like you are the one that's very on and off with how you show up for them and that may give them some trepidation that you're about to leave them behind and that you don't take them serious. All right, it's gonna be different for everybody, but this person does want you in their life and they're going to be taking a lot of action this month, it feels like. I'll get another card on their feelings um, in a few minutes. I wanna find out more about your feelings for them though. I want to see if you guys are on the same page because right now it doesn't look like you're on the same page. This person looks like they want you more than you want them at the moment. Why the Nine of Pentacles for how Sagittarius feels about this person? Why the Nine of Pentacles for how Sagittarius feels about this person? The Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Well, with the Seven of Pentacles clarifying the Seven, or with the Seven of Pentacles clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, you're still trying to evaluate this relationship you've already perhaps invested some time into them already and you're trying to figure out do i want to invest any more of my time into this connection or am i just going to waste my freaking time and you've got repeated nines so you might be in your personal year of number nine um sagittarius if you know anything about numerology you can find your personal year by adding the current year we're in right now which is 2023 broken down numerically equals a seven add your birthday to that to see if it brings it to a nine you bring it down and reduce it to a singular number so if you are in your personal year of number nine with these repeated nines this is the year of you closing out major cycles repeated behaviors things that <clears throat> my throat shocker things that impacted your life over the last nine years and as you wrap that up 
that's when the year 2024 is going to be at a year of new beginnings, <clears throat> which is the number one. Man, my throat chakra is acting up. And that's the two of swords with the five of swords that I'm looking at now. Two people not telling each other the truth. Two people not expressing themselves communicative wise. And Gemini, the magician is ruled by planet Mercury, which controls thoughts and communication. It's feeling like in the month of May, somebody may stop talking or will have trouble expressing themselves verbally and it might cause some discord between the two of you where you both don't really know where the heck this connection is going because i see that you do care about this person in may because that queen of cups would not be here if you didn't care but the way that you're showing up for this person the, this person is going to think that you don't care about them okay Again, I don't know if this is someone you already know and they did you wrong. All right, so I'm going to get another card on their feelings. Because their, their action towards you looks really good. You know, that's someone expressing their feelings, giving you their heart, and being very stable about it. Can I get another card on this person's feelings for Sagittarius, please? Can I get another card on this person's feelings for Sagittarius, please? Okay, so swords, they want to they wanna share some ideas with you. They want to break through. This person is someone that is wanting something exciting to happen between the two of you. I feel like a lot of you, this is someone that you're either going to meet in the month of May and they're going to they're gonna catch feelings really quick. Um, or this is someone that you already recently met. You guys are in daily communication. Things are looking good. But then in May, something happens where they, they feel like you're shutting down on them. Whether it's because you observed something about them that kind of catch you off guard and made you look at them in a different view or or something they said or did is just like you know you're you're tensing up right here let's clarify why is the four pentacles how this person is viewing Sagittarius in the month of May I hope you guys can see the card my lighting messes with the blurriness why the four pentacles please Capricorn energy why the Four of Pentacles for how this person is viewing Sagittarius in the month of May? The Three of Wands. They're waiting. They're viewing you as waiting on them to um, bring some sort of stability to the relationship. It's like you're waiting on them to see what what they show up with. Like you're you're in this energy of all right. You already know I like you, so what do you bring into the table? You know, you want to make sure that it's not just sex. It's not just puppy love. You want to make sure that there's actual stability attached to this relationship because you don't want to waste your time. Because the, the Sagittarians I'm pulling on right now with all this earth energy, you're looking for a stable partner. You're not looking for someone to bump uglies with in the bedroom. You're l wanting something serious. So you're like, the jury is still out on whether or not you can count on this person to bring you something serious. Two of Pentacles, ooh, the devil, Five of Swords. For some of you, there, there could have been some sort of unhealthy behaviors that were showing up in this relationship that kind of left you questioning how you should move forward. Okay, so in the blockage is the Queen of Cups. All right, you may have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with a cancer. Now, sometimes when I see the Queen of Cups in the blockage, it could tell me that there's another person involved other than you and this person, whether on your end or their end. But since this person's actions towards you are the King of Cups, I feel like that person is you. Why the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Cups? The Three of Pentacles. Someone not working together as a team right now, and it's making it hard for someone to build. The Three of Pentacles, when I read it in the challenge position, I read it reverse, and that's the energy of not feeling like someone's on the same page with somebody um, emotionally. This person's scared that you don't really love them the same as they love you. And the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups is here. So the Wheel of Fortune is going to help you guys get unstuck in this situation because I see the eight of swords underneath the magician you're trying to call in your manifestations but at the same token blocking your manifestations with the eight of swords it's kind of like manifesting a person to deliver you a pizza they show up and you don't answer that's the energy of the magician with the eight of swords like yeah I called you in but now I'm not gonna let you in you know or I call in my soulmate and then once they're here, I'm going to think, no, this is too good to be true, that they're not my soulmate. I like them, but I don't know if they really, you know, self-imposed prison. Can I get a card on this person's actions towards Sagittarius? 
Why is this person's actions towards Sagittarius in the month of May? The King of Cups. I got strong Cancer Pisces Scorpio in this reading, but I also have Earth. But don't worry about the zodiac signs. It's just the energy that people will be embodying in the month of May. Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? The Two of Swords. And I got the Two of Swords as the outcome. This person is unsure of where you both stand. They are wanting to talk to you. They want to They want to pick your brain with that Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Um, rewind. Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. They want to pick your brain. They feel like they're missing some information or they feel like you need to ask them some questions and they would be glad to answer them. I do feel like someone here has been very indecisive or just backtracking or procrastinating, making some sort of important decision. And then there's the Two of Cups. So their actions is to get closer to you. Their actions is to, Sagittarius, this person wants to get really close with you. This is someone that wants to be in a beautiful relationship. This is someone that wants to hold you. This person wants to kiss you. This, this is somebody that wants to be in your life, but they don't feel like you want the same thing because of how you are you know, coming in with this Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles energy. Like you're very guarded. Maybe you weren't expecting to fall in love with this person and it scares the heck out of you because, you know, a, a past person may have done something to you. And then there's the Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. For some of you Sagittarians, you're still dealing with a third party. You're still dealing with an ex that broke your heart. Three of Swords that you're trying to move on from with the Eight of Wands in order to heal your heart with the Queen of Cups. And until that is healed, you may feel like you can't give this person what they're wanting just yet, but you're going to try. So, and the potential outcome is the Two of Swords. Now, the outcome is just for May. Who knows what happens to you guys in June? And since it's not a major arcana, it's not going to majorly impact this relationship because I do feel like there's, there's going to be a lot of progression happening between the two of you. Why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords? Ten of Cups. You guys have a chance to have a beautiful relationship together, Ten of Cups. The King and Queen of Cups are at the head of the family portrait of the Ten of Cups. But someone's ignoring the truth of, of a situation or someone's not communicating their true feelings. Someone is shutting somebody out or ignoring each other is going to be an issue. And then there's the Empress and the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Some of you guys could be mothers already and you're still recovering from a divorce or a breakup with a child's parent that you had with someone. That's not going to be for everybody. So in your advice, we have the Nine of Swords. There's someone that you're not talking to. It may be outside of this connection. There's someone coming through this reading, Sagittarius, that feels like you are ignoring them. But it feels like you're talking to this person. So there, it feels like there's an outsider here. It feels like there's someone that's still energetically attached to you and that they have history with you and that's what's causing some complications with you and this person today. Why the Nine of Swords as Sagittarius' advice? Notice how you have all nines. The Magician, look at that. The Magician, Nine of Swords. The Magician, Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is the same energy as the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords is my daytime anxiety card. The Nine of Swords is my shit, I'm thinking about everything I stressed out about during the day, now I'm bringing it into the nighttime anxiety card. And you got them both next to the Magician. You are getting everything you're manifesting at this time, but you're overthinking the situation with all these sword energies. Fire signs should not be in their head. You are supposed to be listening to your sacral chakra. Or you're, you know, I mean, you can you can think your way through situations, but fire signs really live off of that fire, you know, following their passion, their desire, what pulls you, all right? But, of course, your birth chart is going to go deeper than that. You might have a lot of air in your chart. But with all these repeated nines, look into your personal year. You might be in the personal year of number eight or nine, okay? And then there's the King of Wands and the Death card and the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. I feel like a lot of you Sagittarians are coming out of some sort of end in your life, whether an ending to a job, an ending to a relationship, a friendship, romantic, whatever. You're coming to an end of something that was very uh, detrimental in your life, you feel, and you've learned how to not trust certain people, and you're really working on your confidence in the month of May. And I feel like your money is going to be your top priority, and it's going to look good for you. There's something you're doing with your money that's going to really pay off for you. So if you need to focus on your career, do it. All right, just communicate with this person and let them know, hey, it's not you, it's I got a lot of things going on with my work, and I hope you understand, just to ease this person's mind, because they think that you don't like them anymore or you're in purposely ignoring them. So yeah, this person plans to get a lot closer to you. They want to express their true feelings to you. They will be honest about their feelings. 
You could be connecting with a water sign. I have strong Gemini and Virgo here too. But let's get your person's hidden message if you're in any recent no contact stuff. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below of this video. And if you're watching this on a Saturday, I go live every Saturday at 9.30 p.m. or 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the All Signs Their Feelings For You spread. So rock that notification bell. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interest at heart. Is it focusing? Okay, good. It hurts to see online that you may have moved on with your life. So someone's watching you and thinking that you moved on. That could be someone coming in to talk. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. I, oh, I said that with this person's actions that they want to hold you. They want to kiss you. You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I now know it's true. So that is for you, Sagittarius. I hope you liked it and I enjoyed reading for you. Until next time, later Gators.